Hello, and thank you for choosing Revive Node. Today, we'll be taking a look on how to enable anti-x-ray by using a paper MC jar. This can be very useful to prevent cheating in your Minecraft server, especially if you're running a SMP type server. To get started, I'm actually going to turn the server completely off, and at the moment I am running paper MC. However, if you are not, you can go into a version changer and then go on to paper and install the version of your liking. For this video, I'll be using the latest of 1.19.2. However, the install methods will be different for versions of Minecraft. To explain what I mean, if we go into our file manager and scroll down, you will see a paper.yml-readme.txt. For older versions of Minecraft, this is the directory where you need to go and it will be named the following paper. YML. You will not have the dash readme.txt part, as this is only for newer versions. To clear that up, if you're on older versions, you will not have this readme.txt. It will just be paper.yml, and this is where you would change your settings. But if you're on newer versions, such as I, you will go into config, and here you'll see paper-world-defaults.yml. You go ahead and click that, and here you'll see anti-x-ray. We can enable it by replacing false with true, and on screen, I'm showing you different versions. False is when it's not enabled. Engine one is it will just try to disable only a few amount of ores, but it won't do a whole 100% of the job. And engine two, which is my preference, will just put a layer of different ores on top of every on top of everything. This makes it very difficult for people to cheat and tends to be the best option. If we scroll down, you'll see we have max block height. This is the height level on where it will start and it'll go all the way down to bedrock. So it's starting at 64. You can raise this and I'll show you more of this in game. These are the blocks that it's gonna try to hide and this is what it will replace. Stone, oak, and deep slide. For me, I'm gonna keep everything else default other than the enabled and engine mode and I'm going to explain the block height. You can change this if you like, but just ensure you watch the entire video to fully understand what it means. Click save content and we can start the server back up. Now that we're in the server, I wanna clarify that I'm using a, a X-ray texture pack and I do not condone people using this. It really removes the fun out of the game. But first, let me clarify the 64 height value. If I click F3 and I go, you can see as soon as I stand on 64, this is where the ores will start generating for, for engine mode two. And you'll see the different variants of blocks spread across the chunks that are loaded for the player. Above, you can see that it didn't hide any of them and, and these are actually placed correctly. So if I go and try to mine, they will be here. But the ones below are not actual ores. Just by breaking the blocks and going lower, you'll see that they slowly start changing into the variant. So this will be stone and it will place the blocks around it to stone as they go lower. This is just to prevent as much as possible so players don't know where the, any of the ores are at. It is truly helpful and I highly recommend it. Other than that, that was the whole tutorial. I hope you do liked it. Other than that, we hope you have an amazing day and thank you for choosing Revive.